Hello everyone, I'm Brandon, and welcome back to 3 Minute Intellectual. Today we're going to be talking about a piece of World War II history that almost no one ever talks about, and how it led to the unlikeliest of war heroes. Let's start the clock. People generally consider the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany in September of 1939 the beginning of the Second World War in Europe. What gets largely forgotten is the invasion was actually a joint campaign between Germany and the Soviet Union. As part of the German-Soviet non-aggression pact, the two countries carved up Poland and the Soviets immediately began turning their newly conquered territory into a communist state. Hundreds of thousands of Polish troops and civilians were captured by the Soviets and shipped to gulags in Siberia. Tens of thousands more were killed in the fighting or by atrocities committed by the Soviet secret police organization called the NKVD. Like in March of 1940, when the NKVD executed some 22,000 Polish military officers and police in the Katyn Forest. Of course, the secret deal between Stalin and Hitler fell apart when Hitler decided to invade the Soviet Union in June of 1941. When the USSR joined the Allied powers, Stalin agreed to allow many of the Polish POWs to leave Russia to fight alongside Allied forces elsewhere in the conflict. As the Pol Polish troops made their way out of the USSR through the Middle East. They stopped in a small Iranian town, where a group of soldiers met a young boy selling an orphaned bear cub whose mother had been shot by hunters. An officer bought the cub and eventually gave him to the 22nd Artillery Supply Company, who named the bear Wojtek a name that roughly translates to Joyful Warrior. The men of the 22nd made Wojtek one of their own, feeding him condensed milk from an old vodka bottle at first, then fruit or honey, and even the occasional beer. Wojtek traveled with the 22nd through the Middle East until they reached Alexandria, Egypt, where they were to board a transport ship bound for Italy to fight with the British 8th Army. But the British were not about to allow a 600-pound pet bear on their ship. So Wojtek the Bear was enlisted in the Polish Army as Wojtek the Private, and he shipped out with the rest of his company to fight in Italy. In early 1944, the 22nd Artillery Supply Company was in the middle of the pivotal Battle of Monte Cassino, just outside of Rome, feverishly trying to keep Allied positions supplied with ammunition. In the heat of battle, Private Wojtek proved he was much more than just a pet, and started hauling heavy crates of ammunition to the soldiers fighting on the front lines. Wojtek had become such a beloved figure that the Polish military brass approved this depiction of a bear carrying an artillery shell as the official emblem of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company. After the war, most of the Polish army who'd fought alongside the British and other allied nations had no desire to return to their native Poland and live under Soviet rule. The British government formed the Polish Resettlement Corps, helping some 150,000 soldiers and their dependents settle in the United Kingdom, including Wojtek, who lived out the remainder of his days in the Edinburgh Zoo. Today, a bronze statue of Wojtek walking alongside a soldier stands in Edinburgh's Prince's Street Gardens, commemorating the life of this unlikely war hero. Thank you for watching another 3-Minute Intellectual video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe or give us a thumbs up down below. As always, there's links down in the description if you want to learn more about Wojtek and his life or about the Polish army during World War II. Go ahead and check some of that out. Hopefully you learned a little bit today. Go learn a lot.